My first gig was Burn Notice. It was a big guest star role, and it was top of show, so I had, you know, I was in almost every scene. It was in Miami, and they flew me first class, and I was shocked. I've never flown first class before. My whole family's in this business, and I've always been around it. I'm from L.A., so I thought I would never do it. I was like, I do not want to be a part of this. I'm just, I don't see any glamour in it. I don't want it. I don't want to be around it. And um, I was actually teaching preschool, and I was a dancer growing up and an ice skater. And so I was, I was missing it. I was missing that performance. And someone just said, you know, take, a, take an acting class. And I was like, no, not doing that. And then one class in, I was hooked. And I found it was so much more fulfilling for me than dance was. I thought I was going to hate it, but I actually do really love it. I'm always a, just goofball. I really am not afraid to look stupid. Like, I'm just always dancing and just being ridiculous. That's just my, that's my shtick. I don't know. I would love to do something like, um, like Chris and Wig would do. Some off the wall, wacky comedy. That's just my dream in life. I love doing um, sitcom, but I would also really love to do something like a Bridesmaids. I think comedy's harder. I'd so much rather make someone laugh than make someone cry. Guilty pleasure. I'm a slaw. Sometimes I just allow myself to just lay. And my roommate comes home and she's like, are you still in the same place? And I'm like, mm. I think when you first start, you don't realize how grateful you should be. Every time you work, it's a miracle. So I think so, I, I wish someone would have said, you know, shut your mouth a little bit. Don't complain at all. There's no complaining in here. You know, be grateful for every minute of this. Shut up, be grateful. <laughs> That's what I would tell myself, if I could go back in time.